All right, so today I'm gonna to show you some of these really simple shortcuts and automations that are great for your HomePod mini or your original HomePod. Let's go. Sponsored by Skillshare. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me today. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy smart home with Apple's HomeKit. We've got new videos every Sunday, so subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out. All right, so I recently asked you guys over on Instagram if y'all had any cool shortcut ideas or requests that you'd like to see on the channel. And a large number of the responses were all actually relating to the HomePod. So I figured let's just make a video all about shortcuts on the HomePod. I think all of these can be super useful if you have a HomePod. And I will put chapters below as always in case you wanna skip around to any of the specific ones. Again, these are all really simple, but we will start with the easiest and they'll get slightly harder from there on out. Let's get started. All right, so many of you may have heard about this cool feature that Alexa has called Whisper Mode. It's a pretty cool feature, I must admit, where you can actually whisper to the speaker and she'll whisper back. Well, you can't do that with a HomePod. <laughs> Uh, Alexa has us beat on this one, but one thing you can do is create some automations that will adjust the volume automatically based on the time of day for any of your HomePods. I can tell you there's nothing worse than trying to use your HomePod, you know, early in the morning or late at night and having Siri shout back at you loud as hell, waking up the whole house. Siri, what's the weather tomorrow? Should be sunny tomorrow. The high will be... All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that. We'll just jump into the home app here. And as you can see, I'm in my automations tab. I can create a new automation. We're gonna do a uh, time of day occurs. You can choose what time sunset or specific time of day. Let's do, um, I don't know, let's say nine o'clock PM, uh, Monday through Friday, that works for me. Actually, let's leave out Friday and Saturday. Maybe I want it louder on the weekends. Choose next. Now I'm gonna look for uh, any of my HomePods. You can do HomePod Minis, the original HomePod. Uh, I'll do this HomePod right here in my kitchen. And I'm going to, uh, you can choose the audio to play, but I don't wanna do that. All I wanna do is just adjust the volume. So we're gonna choose this option right here, adjust volume only, set the custom volume. So I can turn this you know, way down if I want to. You can kind of play around with it, test it out, and figure out what works best for you. But I can turn this down low, tap back, and you can see now at 9 p.m. on all these days, it's going to set the volume to that custom level. Choose done. Bam, there we go, it's that easy. So no, we can't really whisper to Siri, but we can set this so that our HomePod is not shouting at us late at night. Maybe we're blasting music, you know, jamming out earlier in the day. Then that volume is still set really loud. By setting an automation like this, you know, it'll kind of automatically adjust to a more appropriate level based on the time of day. Now, number two, flash your HomeKit lights with your HomePod. All right, so here's our scenario. Let's say hypothetically you have maybe a larger house and your kids are in their bedrooms and maybe your spouse is you know, in their room or another room and you're in the kitchen and you're ready for everyone to come down and eat dinner. Well, you can use the awesome new intercom feature, you know, on the HomePod to announce a message throughout the house, but maybe your kids don't have their own HomePods or maybe they have headphones in and they don't hear the intercom message. That has happened in my house a few times. Uh, so we can create a cool shortcut that will flash the lights in the different bedrooms throughout the house you know, to notify everyone that it's time for dinner, for example. All right, so there's a couple ways to do this. One way, which is like native to automations. Um, I've talked about actually in that last convert to shortcut video that I made recently. I'll put a link to that in the description if you wanna check that out. Uh, but the downside to doing it this way is that there isn't a way to reset the light to the exact state as it was prior to flashing it. So what I want really is to flash the lights that I choose and then it go back to whatever the state of those lights were before. So if the light was already on and it was pink, for example, I want it to flash the lights, maybe red, and then go back to pink. And so to do this, we'll use a third party app called Signals for HomeKit, which supports Siri shortcuts. 
So you can get the free app and use it to quickly flash any of your HomeKit lights. And you can also upgrade to the Pro version for $4.99 and get all the extra features. I mean, for a one-time payment of five bucks, it's not that bad, especially if you think this is something that you'll actually use. And this app will let you flash any of your HomeKit lights for up to five seconds and either set the light back to the original state that it was before flashing or set it to a new state after flashing. Really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and set this one up real quick. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna open up the Signals app and it is this one here and you can see um, it shows me all of my HomeKit lights in here already. Uh, so let's go ahead to our Signals tab and here's one that I was just testing. I'm going to delete that. We can tap New Signal. Uh, you can, this is really cool. You can give it, you know, an icon or whatever. Let's see. No, so let's just do a little flag. You can give it a different color. All right, we'll call this dinner time. All right, create signal. And uh, let's choose some lights. We'll do my bedroom and we'll do one of my kids' rooms just to show you an example. So let's go ahead and choose those real quick. Uh, my bedroom, I will do fan light. Actually, I'll go ahead and do my headboard too, okay, just to show you another example of, of what that would look like. My daughter's room, she has this light strip in here. All right. Now we can choose how the lights kind of flash in each one. So do this, you tap on that and you can see here's some few options. You actually have different ways of flashing. So this is pretty neat. This is something you can't do like just in a native shortcut um, or automation. So, uh, but I like this flash is really cool. We'll do five seconds for this. You can run it, you can test it out here. But again, this is my fan light, so there's no different color controls or anything we can control here. It's just on off. Close that. And here is the headboard. Now this is a light strip behind my headboard. And you can see here we have another option. We can use the color. So if you leave this off, it'll flash it at whatever color it's currently at, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna change this to five seconds again. I'm gonna keep it on flash. Uh, let's do, let's change the color here to a red. Done. All right, that looks good. And now we'll do kind of the same thing in my daughter's bedroom. Let's do five seconds also. Um, use color, we'll change this to red. Done, okay, there we go. Uh, and you can go in to finish, you can choose, You can. it says make your signal more meaningful by setting a light to specific state when it completes. So maybe they missed the light flash and you want to set it to red permanently. You can do that or you can change it to pink or green. Do whatever you want here. And maybe different colors can mean different things in your house. Um, so, and what's cool is you can change all, you can do all the lights. So I could flash maybe just my headboard, for example, in my bedroom and then turn off all the other lights in the room or turn on all the other lights in the room. So you can kind of get creative and do really a lot with this. I'm just going to leave it alone. So this way, once it's done flashing, it's going to set everything back to whatever state it was prior to flashing. All right. And that is really it for that. Okay. So let's open up our shortcuts, create a new shortcut. I'm going to add an action and here. If you search for signals, you'll see here, uh, flashlight run signal. I'm going to choose run signal because I've created this one already. And here you can choose the ones that you've created. You see, we got dinner time. It says there's three lights included. I'm going to choose that. And that's it. That's all I need to do. Um, I'm going to name this uh, dinner time. Choose done. And now I can say Siri, it's dinner time. And it'll run that signal and flash those lights like I want it. All right, so let's go see what it looks like real quick, just so you get an idea. All right, so I'm in here in my daughter's messy room, um, but you can see she has this pink light strip underneath here, and uh, she actually has a HomePod in here, so I can run the shortcut from up here, but of course you can run this from any HomePod, you know, in the house, and it'll do the same thing. So, dinner time. One sec. So, so you can see what it did. It actually flashed uh, the lights for five seconds, that red color, which is what we wanted. And then it returned the light strip to the original state that it was prior to flashing. So really cool.
Here we are in the bedroom. Same thing here. Got a home pod back here. So let's try it out in here. Dinner time. So you can see on this one, uh, and here's, it's flashing my lights up top and the headboard over there. And then it goes back to whatever it was before, which is off in this case. Real quick, um, a little tip, if you want maybe longer than five seconds for that flashing, one thing you can do here is do a repeat action. This is just a simple way to do this, repeat. And you can say repeat, I don't know, five times or however many times you want and then pull this inside that repeat. So then it'll flash for those five seconds and it'll reset and it'll flash again for five more seconds and it'll do that however many times you want. So you can use this as kind of a little uh, workaround to do longer flashes or signals. All right, so pretty cool, right? And that leads us Yo, to number hey. Yo, hey man, hey. Uh, so aren't you gonna tell them about today's sponsor? Uh, yeah, well, I was going to. Oh, okay, uh, hey man, go ahead, do your thing. You already interrupted me, so you might as well go ahead and do it. All right, man, uh, you, sh you sure? I was just gonna tell them about Skillshare, you know, I think they'll really like it. Go ahead, man, I like Skillshare too, so, you know. All right, well, for those of you that don't know, Skillshare is an awesome online learning community with thousands of classes and topics on all kinds of awesome stuff, no matter what you're into. For example, I've been wanting to step up my Instagram game lately, so I recently took a class called Social Media Stardom, Making the Most of Instagram, taught by world champion and Olympian athlete Lolo Jones. Now I learned some great tips that really motivated me to do more with my Instagram account, and I'm always, always trying to learn and improve on my skills, so I love Skillshare. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always adding new premium classes. Plus, most of the classes are short, which I love, so it's super easy to stay focused and find all kinds of new stuff that interests you. It's less than 10 bucks a month, but Skillshare is gonna hook y'all up. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to hit that link below is gonna get a free trial of their premium membership so you can really explore your creativity. So thanks Skillshare for doing that and for sponsoring this video. You, you all done? Uh, yeah, carry on. Hold on. All right. all right. All right. So as I was saying, number three is conversational shortcuts. Now for this last one, we're going to briefly discuss conversational shortcuts and how I like to do this is by using the choose from menu action. What this does is gives you the ability to make Siri present you with some options and then you can choose what you want to do and Siri will perform actions based on what you choose. In fact, if you watch the shortcuts and automations video that I previously mentioned, we use this choose from menu action in that video for our back tap shortcut on the iPhone but this actually works really well on the HomePod also. And it's easy to set up. So let's do a very simple one, just like a, maybe a time for bed shortcut where we can tell Siri it's time for bed and we'll get a few options uh, and then have her do whatever we want based on that option. All right, so let's open up shortcuts and I'm gonna create a new shortcut and we're gonna look for choose from menu. All right. And first of all, let's go ahead and name this. We're gonna call this time for bed. All right. What we're gonna do here is, uh, well, let's actually first, let's go ahead before we even get the prompt, let's uh, set our, let's go ahead and set a home kit scene, uh, control Watley home. And uh, I have this going to bed scene right here we'll use. So first we'll set my going to bed home kit scene. And then let's say prompt. All right, so we're gonna set a prompt that says, which would you like to set for the morning? And we'll have a few options here. The first one is going to be a wake up alarm. The second one we'll say, maybe this one will be a different alarm. Maybe our work from home alarm. And let's add one more that says neither. Maybe it's the weekend you want to sleep in. All right, and now you can see, let me change this, let me fix this over here. Work from home alarm. 
Okay, now here's our options. We can add different actions under these, which she'll do based on our decisions. Let's add our actions. Now we're looking for the alarm. Oop, can't type. It's actually under the clock, so we'll choose toggle alarm. Let's pull this first one under wake up alarm, so turn. So you can actually change this to just toggle or whatever, but let's do turn. Uh, there's our wake up alarm on. And I'm gonna turn this off, show when run, because I don't need that. Now something you can actually do in shortcuts, if you tap up here, you have some options, so I can actually just duplicate this action. Now I'm gonna pull this one down under work from home alarm. And now all I wanna do is change my alarm to my work from home alarm. So it's gonna turn this one on if I choose work from home. And then neither, I can just have it do nothing or I can actually duplicate these just to be 100% sure. And I can have this turn it off. Let's duplicate this other one. Pull it down there under neither. So now I know for sure it's gonna turn off both of those morning alarms so I can sleep in. All right, so now let's test it out. Um, let me go ahead and remove this though, just for the testing, because I don't want to set the scene. Uh, so we'll test this, and normally it would go ahead and set those, you know, that scene. But as you can see here, which would you like to set for the morning? Wake up alarm, work from home alarm, or neither? All right, that works good. Um, all is well, but the intention here is to use this with our HomePod, so let's see how it works with the HomePod. Hey Siri, time for bed. Okay, Shane, which would you like to set for the morning? Wake up alarm, work from home alarm or neither? Uh, work from home alarm. Done, Shane. Boom, there you go. So that is how you can use conversational Siri shortcuts to get a menu and kind of do some more things based on your answers. So it can get really fun, get creative, do some cool stuff, set these up, use them with your HomePods in the morning, in the evenings, whenever, to get the most out of your HomePods. And if you've got any great tips or ways that you are using shortcuts or automations with your HomePods, please share below so we can all learn from each other. And uh, if you've got something out of this video, please hit that like button and drop a comment down below. That really helps this video get out to more people. Subscribe if you haven't for new HomeKit videos every Sunday right here, just like this one. Also consider hitting that join button below to become a channel member and join our little HomeKit community over on Discord. You'll also get early access to new videos here on YouTube behind the scenes and other cool perks. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, we'll see y'all later. You know, man, I really wish you wouldn't interrupt me like that when I'm trying to do a video. I know, I, you know, you just you get to rambling, you know, on and on about shortcuts and Siri and, oh man, we get it. You know, you like your Apple stuff. You love your smart home. It wouldn't kill you to talk about something else for a change. Just saying.